Hello everyone. Today we're going to continue our discussion of angles and their measures. We're going to talk about more types of angles. So more types of angles. So there's these really important angles um, that are said to be in what's called standard position. So standard position. So basically an angle is in standard position if its vertex is at the origin and if its initial side is along the positive x-axis. Let me go ahead and write that down. So this means that the vertex is at the origin and the initial side is along the positive x-axis, so the positive x-axis. So let's look at some pictures of angles in standard position. So here's a picture, here's a picture, here's a picture. <laughs> so three little, three little plus signs, right? All right, now I'm going to use different colors uh, for, for the sides. There's one, there's another, and there's another. And now we'll draw the angles. So here's an angle, here's an angle, and then here is an angle. So all of these angles are in standard position, etc. You could keep going because you have the vertex at the origin in each case. And the initial side is along the positive x-axis. There are special angles that are called quadrantal angles. So let's talk about quadrantal angles. Quadrantal angles. Big word. <laughs> this is an angle whose terminal side is along an axis, or axis. So this is an angle whose terminal side is along an axis. Let's look, let's look at some pictures of quadrantal angles. These are extremely important uh, in mathematics. And trigonometry is extremely important in mathematics. Um, it's, it's good to learn it. Um, so let's draw some angles here. So here's the terminal side and that's along an axis, and here's our initial side. So this would be a right angle, 90 degrees. Um, here's, here's another one, as our initial. There's our terminal, and then here's our angle. So that's a straight angle. And then here's another quadrantal angle. This would be 270 degrees etc. You can keep drawing more forever. So those are called quadrantal angles. And the last type of angle that I wanted to talk about in this video is called, or are called coterminal angles. Coterminal angles. So coterminal angles have the same initial same initial and terminal side okay but different amounts of rotation but different amounts of rotation so if two angles have the same terminal and initial side um, that means that their measures have to differ by a multiple of 360. So like, if you look at this picture here, if I'm here and I add 360 to this, I go around 360 degrees. So watch this, going around 360, boom, I end up in the same place. So I basically took 90 and added 360 to it, right? And when you do that, uh, you get 450 degrees. Right, so in this case, uh, 90 and 450 are said to be 
uh, what's called coterminal angles, right? Coterminal angles because their measures differ by by 360. Okay, so let's go ahead and do some examples of finding coterminal angles. So the question is very very specific. It says, what is the angle of smallest positive measure coterminal with the given angle. See, because if you just say, what is an angle that's coterminal, it's super easy, right? All you have to do is just add or subtract 360 once, twice, 50 times, doesn't matter, right? There's infinitely many angles that are coterminal with any given angle, because you can just keep adding 360 and you always get a coterminal angle, right? As long as it differs by a multiple of 360. So, right, they have this, because they'll, they'll end up having the same initial and terminal side if you just keep adding 360. Um, so we want the one that has the smallest positive measure. So a little bit tricky. So let's see, A, I'm gonna need a calculator for these. So let's see, negative 98 degrees. I guess I don't need a calculator, but I don't wanna take a chance and do it wrong. So negative 98, so we want the smallest possible positive angle that's coterminal with this thing. So all you have to do is take negative 98 and just add 360. And that should give us the smallest possible one. So negative 98, typing it into my calculator, not taking any chances, I got 262 degrees. So this angle and this angle differ by 360. And in other words, they have the same initial and terminal side, therefore they are coterminal. And this is the smallest one, right? Because I can add 360 again and I got a bigger angle, so that's no good. So we did indeed find the smallest one, because if we add 360 to find another coterminal angle, well, it'll be bigger than this number. Uh, let's try B. 539 degrees. So we want the smallest positive angle that's coterminal with this. So if we add 360, we will get a coterminal one, but it'll be bigger. So what we want to do is we want to subtract 360. So let's try that. So if we subtract 360, we do 539 minus 360, and that equals 179 degrees. Now if I subtract 360 again, I get a negative angle. So that's no good, because it has to be positive, right? So that's the answer there, 179. Let's do a couple more just to make sure you got it, C, about 908. Well, I think subtracting 360 once is not gonna work because we'll still have a really big number. So if you subtract 360 twice, let's see what we get. I think that might be enough. Let's see, 908 minus two times 360, that's 188, yep. And if we subtract 360 again, it'll be negative. So this is the smallest possible positive angle that's coterminal with this. So basically you just add and subtract 360 until you get the smallest positive result that you can possibly get. Let's do one more, negative 800 degrees. So this one's negative, so we need to add 360. I think if we add it twice, it doesn't work because it's like adding 720, so it'll still be negative. So I think we have to add it three times. So let me put that in my calculator, negative 800 plus three times 360. I got 280, so that should be right. And if you add it again, you, you get a bigger one so it doesn't work. So that's the smallest positive angle that's coterminal with negative 800. So I hope this video made sense. Um, that's it, and we'll continue this in more videos.